everybody and welcome to another episode of the Happy Travellers Daily Vlog. Today I'm going to give you a bit of a review of the new bike rack which is why I'm here at the back of our Auto Trail Comanche. Um, the bike rack is a Thule um, tow bar bike rack so there was no drilling into the back of the motorhome it just clips on to the tow bar and uh, sits there I had to buy the uh, the upgraded one because each bicycle that we have which is uh, the Whisper um, foldable uh, torque uh, electric bike they weigh 25 kilos a piece so I had to buy the upgraded twin bike carrier that has a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms now putting the bikes on the back uh, meant that we needed to buy the bike uh, cover here and for Europe one of these uh, little uh, plates uh, that go on the back to, just to give it that sort of uh, warning sign so um, that's why there's a lot of uh, bungee straps around the rack at the moment but I'm gonna get the uh, the cover and that little sign off and show you the bikes in place and then how easy it is to operate the whole thing Getting all that off um, with all those bungee straps, I really should find a better way of uh, attaching that uh, red and white hatch sign. But um, this cover is sort of down the back of the bike rack. But the good thing is, is that this whole thing tilts this way. to allow us to release the, uh, the cover and give us access to the spare wheel as well. So, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'll just readjust the uh, the camera there just so that you can see that how far that is down there um, so it really is uh, we wouldn't travel like this but it gives us access to all of this here um, the spare wheel cover and allows us to put the the bicycle cover um, you know, the, the sort of rain cover over and then pop it back up into place which I'm going to do now so bearing in mind that this is uh, this is about 50 50 kilos so it's uh, it is a bit of a it is a bit of a weight but it just clips back into place really really easily you have to give it a bit of a bit of a lift but it's, uh, it's fine. So let's show you some of the detail of the bike rack itself. Now the first thing to note on here is that there's some uh, retainers that are connected uh, to the, the bike rack itself here and they come through and just clamp around the bike frame but they are locking so you can't undo them um, without the the key so it gives you a little bit of additional security for the bike but I've also got um, on here the uh, kryptonite locks uh, for extra security so I've got two of those on going around the bike frames and um, looped around the underneath of the carrier itself So let's just get those unlocked and obviously we're going to take off the the bike nearest to us first but um, I'm going to get these unlocked get the kryptonite lock undone 
and then show you the uh, retaining straps down here at the bottom and show you how they work. So it's just a, a simple little uh, little key that goes into the lock there, turns quarter turn and then we can start to undo that clamp. The clamp can just sit out of the way while we uh, undo the other bits and pieces, um, getting the kryptonite lock off with that one. And then dealing with the, the straps. So the hold. straps go around the, around the wheel and they sort of ratchet lock in place but there's a simple press button and they undo so you slide that in feed it through the wheel when you're uh, putting the bike on slide it in there hold that button down and just push it through as far as you need to and then you can just ratchet into place just to hold that bike right against the uh, channel that the wheel goes into but we're we're taking it off so we'll feed that back right through there get that out of the way and similarly on the other end as well there's that there just pop that out of the way and of course we've got the other kryptonite lock that's going through the uh, the stand there so we'll just find the key for that so just remembering really that the uh, when the bikes are on the outside of your motorhome it's even more important to have um, the extra security there. So there's, there's really three uh, locks holding the bike onto the rack. There's the two kryptonite locks going round the frame and through here, and the uh, lock for the retaining bar. But that's it, getting, uh, getting it unlocked. So now it's a question of just uh, getting getting the bike off and the reason we went for the tow bar model is because the the bikes the bikes are 25 kilos a piece and um, getting a, a bike rack that sat above the uh, spare wheel cover there would have meant that I'd actually have to lift the bike overhead to actually get it on and uh, I'm not, I'm not particularly weak, but lifting 25 kilos up twice to get uh, that right above my head is, uh, is particularly difficult. So we can just wheel it off like this. And ease it down and uh, then we're ready to go cycling. So you can see the process is pretty simple in getting the bikes off of that rack. Um, an excellent piece of kit, I think, and with the ability to um, just press the, the foot pedal there and ease that back uh, in terms of getting access to the spare wheel um, is excellent. Now, they're not a cheap piece of kit. They, uh, they do cost around £500 uh, to get this model. Um, we got it a bit cheaper uh, because I managed to negotiate a, a bit of a good deal. Like, give me a discount or I'm walking away. That sort of negotiation. That's always a good one to try. And, um, uh, and don't forget that you will need an additional 
registration number plate to go on the back of the uh, of the bike rack now one of the good things about uh, going for the um, toe ball attachment is that simply it attaches to a toe ball one one connection so you've got your your toe ball there and the bike rack just sits on that grabs on tight and doesn't swing around it's a marvelous system but the thing about that is that if you change vehicles you just take it with you or if you have um, if you're away in your motorhome you want to take your bikes put pop that on the tow bar when you get back and you want to go out on your bikes and you've got a car with a tow bar just pop that on to the car and away you go so it's easy to transfer from one vehicle to another and uh, I really like that idea um, not that we're intended to change the motorhome at all but it's a I think it's a really good way to have a uh, a good solid bike rack that you can take from vehicle to vehicle additionally we're not having to drill holes and seal them up again in the back of the van and we all know that uh, water ingress in a motorhome or caravan is uh, one of the biggest bugbears of uh, of all motor caravan or caravan owners so not having extra holes in the bodywork is always a good thing but there we are that's uh, a bit of a review of the um, Thule bike rack it's the 60 kilo model two bikes uh, on there the cover was additional um, that was I bought that from Halfords at 20 pounds it's the four bike cover um, pretty good um, easy to put on um, pretty easy to get off and it, it keeps all the water and the moisture away um, from the bikes so you know we all know leaving bikes out in the rain not a great idea and when they're on the back of here nice to nice to keep them all covered up and locked in place and all nice and secure well well that's it for today and um if you're thinking about getting a bike rack for your motorhome and you have a tow bar one of these would be an excellent choice they do different models uh single bike three bike two bike heavier heavier bikes lighter bikes they do all sorts of different things all sorts of different prices um, choose the one that's best for you and uh, go traveling and take your bikes with you thanks so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, don't forget click that subscribe button and click on the reminder bell because you'll then get reminders whenever we upload any additional videos to these dailies. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.